most of the birds that you see flying around your neighborhood were all hatched from an egg. And this is the season, springtime, when the eggs are laid and hatched. So you might be seeing remnants of little eggs all over your neighborhood. Maybe on the floor as you take a walk, on the sidewalk, maybe they have fallen out of a nest. Um, we have a special treat for you because Miss Litvak, our friend from school who we miss very much, has a special birdhouse in her backyard. And over the past couple of weeks, she was able to film the life cycle of the baby birds in her yard. Let's take a look at those birds. Hi, I'm Miss Litvak's daughter, and some of you might know me, and I'm here to talk about this birdhouse that we um, put in last month. And we checked a couple weeks ago, maybe like two weeks ago, and we saw that there were some bird eggs in there. So we keep looking, and they're looking healthy. And we, we also have been seeing the mom, too. She, when we go inside and look, the mom might fly out because she wants to protect her kids. But um, yeah, they're, they're very small and have r like red specks on them. And um, hopefully they hatch soon. You wanna show them what it looks like inside? Sure. Okay, we're gonna open up the birdhouse. And let's see, hopefully you can see. There's the bird eggs, and one of them appears to have hatched, so I'm not sure what it's doing in there. It looks like it's moving around. It's very, very, very small. These eggs might look big, but they're actually about the size of maybe my fingernail. Nail. So they're about the size of my fingernail. Okay, let's see how tiny they are, and look at that little guy moving around in there. How cute, right? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll try to update it once more of the babies hatch. You wanna say bye? Bye. Hi guys, it's Mrs. Litvak here. So yesterday we had just one baby chick and today, I don't know if you can see, but there are four of them in there. And they seem to always be lifting their heads up and opening their mouths. I'm guessing, well actually, can you guess why they might be doing that? Why might they be lifting their little heads up and opening their mouths? Any ideas? I think it's because they're waiting for their mom to come back and feed them because they're too young to go out and get their own food. So they have to have their mom bring food and I think she puts it right in their little mouths, right in their little beaks. All right guys, we'll keep posting updates as much as we can. Bye. Hi Pre-K, this is Miss Litvak. Um, we've had these little chicks for about a week and a half now, almost two weeks. And I wanted to just give you a little update as you can see, they're much bigger than they originally were, and they also now have feathers, which makes them look more like birds and less like little alien creatures. Um, they're all snuggled up on top of each other. We have five in there now. I, you probably can only make out three of them. The other two, I think, are underneath. Um, there's still one egg that hasn't hatched yet, so we're still waiting on that. And yeah, they just spend a lot of time sleeping, all cuddled up, and they spend a lot of time with their mom too. She often sits on them, but she's not there right now, so I figured it would be a good time to take a video. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and hope you're all doing well. Now Bye. that you've watched the video of Miss Litvak's birds in her yard, I want you to think about the way that those birds were similar to what we learned about the life cycle of a chicken. Were there any similarities and differences? Let me know.